as a baker, uh, one of the biggest concerns, I suppose, is that you want to make the, the freshest, softest bread available for your consumers. Um, you do that for a number of reasons, to make it most appealing for your, uh, your chosen market. Uh, but of course you'd also want to, uh, to do this to, to maintain um, sustainability, to reduce the amount of waste, of course. I think gluten-free breads, I think, um, in general are um, known to have a shorter shelf life. They are, you know, compared to a conventional bread, let's say. Um, but that's where we can help. That's where a, a company like ours can use our knowledge to uh, help to develop an optimised ingredient system to, to answer exactly that problem. One of the ways uh, that we would use to measure the shelf life of a bread is to, uh, is to actually use something called a, a texture analyzer. We make use of that uh, in such a way that it kind of mimics what a consumer, in fact what any one of us might do with our own hands when we go to the, uh, the supermarket shelf and pick hold of a loaf and squeeze it. It's objectively putting a measurement to effectively what our hands are doing on the supermarket shelf. Uh, and through that, we're able to really tailor ingredient solutions to, to maximise shelf life. The, the graph here is showing us um, the results of an enzyme solution that we've applied to a recipe. Uh, and a second plot is showing an emulsifier solution that we've applied to the same recipe. Both ingredient systems are compared to a blank or a control, which contains no other additives. And you can see quite clearly that over the two days of measurement, and that's day one and day seven, uh, there is a clear improvement. So basically what we're looking at, the graph shows us that the softer the, the measurement comes from the lower the plot on the chart. And that tells us that there's a big improvement to be had when you use an enzyme system. There's a smaller improvement to be had with the emulsifier system, but nevertheless it is still an improvement compared to the control.